Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to create bookmarks in SSRS report. So by using the bookmarks, it really help us to navigate to different parts of SSRS report. We'll be creating multiple items in one of the report. We'll be creating matrix item and we will be using a table as well. And once we create them, then we will use the bookmark to navigate in that report. So let's go ahead and create our report and see how to work. First of all, let me show you the data I'm going to use. So here is my query that I'm going to use. It is called the total sale table and I'm selecting pretty much all of those columns. First of all, I would like to create a summary report in which I'm going to show region and item sold. So that's going to be summary and I will be using matrix item in SSRS report. So let's go ahead and use that one. If you would like to remove all these columns, you can go ahead and remove it. We only need the region and let me put the comments here. I need only the region and the item sold. So this is going to be our summary and the final one. That's all we need. Run the query copy the query now go to ssdt sql server data tools right click on the reports and then add new item click on the report and provide the name so i'm going to call this one bookmark add empty report will be created right click on the data sources add data source and provide the name let's call this one ds sales as it is going to use a shared data source and that's pointing to the sales database. So hit OK. Then right click on the data set, add data set and provide the name. Let's call this one dset sales. Use a data set embedded in my report, fine. And then DS sales and provide your query. So we have commented these fields. You can remove them if you like, it's your choice. So let's remove them instead of uh, commenting. Uh, we have only two fields for this report. Uh, hit OK. And next, uh, actually, I would like to bring uh, one more column called the country. And I'm going to use country on the columns. So it will look a little better. So hit OK. Now we have a country, item sold, and a region. First of all, I would like to create uh, two. Uh, a header or uh, you can call this one uh, a main uh, part of the report uh, so this is uh, I'm going to call this one uh, Asia region uh, report uh, so you can call them buttons whatever you want to call them uh, and then uh, I would like to have uh, an other uh, I can just con uh, select it uh, and uh, control C and control V so that's how I can make copy of this one and I'm going to call this one Europe region. So what I want to do here with these two different text boxes, I'm, I want to use them as buttons. So if I will click on Asia, I would like to go to the detail for Asia region report. And if I will click on Europe region, I would like to go to the Europe region report. But right under this report I would like to have a sorry right under these text boxes I would like to have a summary report so I'm gonna call these fields or use these fields from D set sales to create the summary so let's create that one and right click go to insert and matrix and here I'm gonna use the region on the rows and then country on the columns and item sold on the data so that's good Let's uh, align this one. This looks good. And uh, let's do two things. Uh, color uh, the Asia region report uh, text box in a different color. So let's make it bold and give some color. I'm going to give this orange or whatever. And then uh, let's uh, make this one bold as well. And then uh, give the background color green. Now, here we have our summary report. Uh, so let's give a background color for this one as well for the header and make it bold 
Now you can see that uh, a, sum a summary report is created uh, and I have two kind of buttons here. Wh what I want to do when I click on Asia region report, uh, I want to go to Asia region uh, and uh, when I click on Asia re uh, Europe region report, I would like to go to the detailed uh, report of uh, Europe. And uh, from there, uh, if I want to come back to this report, uh, the main report, uh, uh, I want to add an arrow and then use as a bookmark. So use this one, uh, these any of the columns, uh, text box, and uh, come back to this place. So first of all, let's go ahead and add the detailed reports and then finally we'll be using the bookmarks. So right here, insert. First of all, let's get the data set. So I'm going to copy this one. Let's press Control Z to uncomment all those columns. And uh, here, I want to use uh, this one for Asia region. Uh, and uh, right click and say Add Data Set. Uh, and let's call this one Reset Asia. And uh, use as embedded. Select the data source and put the where clause and say where uh, region is equal to Asia. So we are getting the records only for Asia. And uh, this is it. Let's create another data set uh, for Europe. Uh, add data set. Let's call this one D set uh, Europe. So you see here what we're trying to do, we're creating multiple parts in the same report. Uh, and the uh, region is equal to Europe. We would like to use navigate uh, on those parts uh, by using the bookmark. Uh, so we have that one as well. Now we are all good. Let's put uh, another text box uh, and uh, we are going to call that. Uh, let's change this one here. And we will say Asia region detail report. And uh, let's give some color. Let's make this one here. And now I'm going to insert uh, a table. So let's drag this table right next to it so we can look the one report together and here I would like to use only three columns the sale person first name and product name and item sold in the Asia region so that's all I would like to use and here if you would like uh, to give some background color for your header you can go ahead and give that one now it looks good let's put another report here and uh, right click insert text box uh, and I'm going to call this one uh, Europe region report uh, region detail report and uh, let's bring up uh, the in column uh, sorry table here right click insert uh, and uh, put the table right here now right here and bring the columns from the data set we have created for Europe. I'm going to use uh, salesperson last name here and then uh, I would like to use city and I would like to use a country. So as you can see that uh, I'm using a uh, different columns. Uh, let's go ahead and use the region, region as well if you like but it doesn't really matter because uh, we know that uh, the data is coming from different uh, 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 data sets uh, and it belong to different regions. Uh, so let's uh, color this one. Uh, give a some nice color so let's make it uh, blue and for the fonts uh, let's change this one to white and now for the background of a header let's give another color choose uh, this one and then uh, for the fonts uh, let's give the blue or uh, white or uh, here we are given this yellow so we are all good here now we have created uh, three items uh, here. One is matrix, uh, one is table, and another is table. And uh, we are using some text boxes uh, as uh, well. So let me take this one down a little bit so we can have more space. If I will preview this report, uh, and it is saying, okay, the color property of the text box is 14, that is zero, which is not valid color, okay? So the color we have selected here, that's not valid. Uh, we, are, we need to go back here select this uh, and uh, go to the color and this is no color so instead of actually I want to if I want to give a white color I have to select uh, the white uh, instead of no color so now it is good let's preview the report and now you can see that all the report parts uh, are coming on the same kind of page 
so we can see them right here first of all i would like to have them on different pages so i'm going to introduce a page break right after each of these matrix or table so that's the first thing we would like to do come back here and say table uh, tablex properties and add a page break after so that's what we would like to do the same thing i'm going to do for this one and go tablex property after page break and for this one we are fine because we don't have anything after this one so we should be fine now click the preview and you can see that the main report is coming on this first page then the second report is coming on the second page and third report is coming on the third page so that's great but we don't have a navigation here what we want to do we want to build something okay if i click on the asia region report it should take me to asia region if i click on the europe region report it should take me to the Europe region report and then from there if I want to come back I don't want to use even the back or previous page I would like to use a back arrow that should bring me back so now let's go ahead and do it first of all add a back arrow so go to image right click add image and I have one picture that I would like to use it's called back arrow so let's see if we can find it all files and this is the arrow I want to use now right click here insert and say image and I'm going to use embedded image that's fine and here I need to select back arrow and I'm all good so you can see right here this is where we're going to place that and I can make copy control C control V so this is giving me the second part I'm just pasting it right here okay so this is uh, all good now now the next part is uh, we are going to use the bookmarks uh, to navigate uh, first of all I would like to when I click here I would like to come on this uh, report uh, so we, we have to provide some name let's go to the Asia region detail report here and uh, when you are here click uh, F4 uh, hit F4 uh, and go to the one of the property called a bookmark so let's uh, find that one so right here we have a bookmark and I'm gonna call this one Asia region detail report so I'm keeping the same thing just uh, without spaces so I gave the bookmark name to this one then uh, I can bookmark uh, this one to I can click on this uh, text box and book uh, bookmark or I can select the whole uh, header column and bookmark so my choice whatever I want to do it so in this case I'm going to select the entire uh, column uh, columns uh, for uh, for this table and give some name so I'm going to go to the bookmark again and I'm going to call this one Europe region detail report and for this one I'm gonna call even I click here or here once it come back it is coming back to the same uh, level so I can click on this one go to F4 and call this one main report so go to bookmark and say main report and that's all I need now what I'm gonna do here when somebody click here we want to take an action okay so we will go right click and we can uh, actually right click go to text box properties and then we go to the action and here we go to bookmark and as we know that uh, when somebody click on this one we would like to come back come to the asia region and detail report so we have given that uh, book, uh, bookmark name so we can write it here asia region detail report this is done and somebody click on this one we would like to go to the Europe region detail report so I'm gonna right click here text box properties action go to bookmark and say Europe region detail report okay the last part is remaining so it is gonna take us to the reports but we want to come back by clicking on this arrow so right click on the arrow and go to the image properties and action and go to the bookmark and if you remember we have a main report so we have a bookmark the very first text box is your region as a main report so that's what we are going to use 
and as well the same thing here image properties action and go to bookmark and we will be saying main report hit ok now we are all set preview your report and now you can see that our first summary report is coming on first page when we hover or when we take our mouse to the Asia region report text box it is given us this pointer and same things for Europe region report if I will click on Asia region report now it will take me to the Asia region detail report and from here I can go ahead and press this arrow and actually not really pressing it but when I'm clicking on this one it will take me to the main report again so let's click here and we are at main report now if I would like to go back to the Europe region report I can click here and it will take me to the Europe region detail report and by clicking on this arrow it will take me to the main report so that's great one more thing even we are let's say we are in Asia region report and we would like to go to the um, Europe region detail report we can add another bookmark here and maybe another button and when we click there say go to next report or whatever so you can add the bookmark on text boxes or the columns or you know on the tablets whatever so there are different places where you can add the bookmark so in this case you have seen that I have created the bookmark for text boxes then I use in here also the text box and here I use this entire column set for the bookmark so you can bookmark anything here in the report and then once you set an action on that one it will take you to there so thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in next video